Hello everyone and welcome back to another badass YouTube video. Today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting three different climbing methods. The first is three sticking, the second is one sticking, and the third is going to be single rope or I believe it's actually called half rope climbing. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff then stick around and let's get after it. All right guys, so first we gotta cover a few things. For the speed test, I'm not gonna be compromising safety for speed. So I'm not gonna be going as fast as I can and just risk falling. It's gonna be nice controlled climbing on the way up. That way it's an honest test for when you're out in the woods, how slow or how fast you would be going. Uh, this video is not to convince you guys to buy one method over the other. It's just to show the good things, the bad things about each method and then you guys can choose which one you want to do for yourself. So with that, Let's get into the first method, which is going to be three stick climbing. I decided I'm going to do a little voiceover on top of the different climbing methods because not everyone will know the ways to get up and exactly how to do it. And so this first method is the three stick. It's going to be the one that most people are familiar with, but I'll still go over it quickly. Essentially, you just carry your three sticks. Each one gets tied off to the tree. You climb up just like a traditional hang on stand. And um, in this case, I've got aiders on, so I've got a three-step aider on my first one, which is basically just a little rope ladder that hangs down, and then a one-step aider on the next two steps. Helps me get a little higher, so I don't need to bring out four sticks and have that extra weight. Um, basically, you just put one stick on, you have your rope or your lineman belt around the tree, and you work that up as you climb the tree, put the next stick, continue until you get to the top. Now, once you're at the top, like I am, you can see, I take my tether out, tie it off to the tree, attach that first, and then very important, you take your lineman belt off after. You never wanna be disconnected from the tree because if you slip off at that point, you're gonna get seriously hurt or even die. So make sure you're always tied off to the tree. Now, as you go down, you'll see it's just the opposite. I put my lineman belt on first, then take the tether off, start climbing down, take the platform off, and then I'll continue by taking the three sticks off and tying them up and heading out.
All right guys, the second method I'm gonna be showing you guys is the one stick. I'm gonna try and do it where I set it up and see the speed to get on just this top platform if you're planning on hunting from that, or the speed to also set up the regular platform next to it and try and put it in two separate categories so we get a good idea of what the differences in those two would be as well. For the one stick method, it's a little bit different. I still have the three step aider on it and essentially I'll put it on, tie my tether off above the stick climb to the top of the stick as I work my tether up and then once my tether is tied off I'll swing to the side and reach down grab my stick unhook it and then there's a little cam buckle which is like a toothed clamping device that keeps my am steel on the stick and that way it's really easy to just pop that off move the stick up above my head right below where I'm tied off with my tether tie the stick off there and then swing back over climb that stick again while I work my tether up and repeat this process three, four, five times, however high you want to get up there. And then once you're to the top, like I said, you can either hunt off that stick or you can bring your platform with and tie that off and hunt like normal. Now with the one stick, when you go to get down, it's very important that you clip your pull-up rope behind the hitch on your tether because that's going to be the way you retrieve it. Obviously, don't just go up this as a way to repel but just a quick little guide if you're going to do this method definitely look into a video but you're going to clip your um, pull up rope behind that uh, hitch on your tether that way when you go down you've got something to pull and get your repel rope out of the tree otherwise it'll be stuck there forever so what you're going to do is you repel a little bit and then uh, right down level with your stick i take my stick off wrap it up nice while it's on the tree just easier that way hook it to the back of my uh, saddle and then repel the rest of the way down, roll up the ropes and head out. The last method I'm gonna show you guys is the half rope method. It's the one I'm gonna be using this season and it uses a little throw ball to get up in the tree. I am gonna include that in the time because that's technically part of the setup, but if you wanna cut down on that, you can actually go preset some paracord loops out in your tree to use to pull your rope up through. But like I said, since it's part of the setup, I'm gonna count it as part of the time in this video. Now this last method I'm new to, but it's the SRT method or half line method. And it's a little more complicated. Essentially you tie your rappel line to the end of your half line or your throw ball line and you throw the ball through a little V up top and then feed that throw ball through the loop on the end of your rappel line where you're going to be tethered to pull it all the way through until your line gets up in the tree and then i'm going to hook on an ascender that's got a foot loop to it and then i'm going to hook up my rappel device underneath that and then feed the tag line up through a little carabiner that attaches to the original ascender and that gives you more pull so you're pulling down instead of up and then also because it's kind of like a pulley it gives you a little bit of a mechanical advantage so you're not just lifting your whole weight up. And then once you're on, you kind of just uh, pull down with both hands and push up with your foot that is in the foot strap. And it's really easy. Your ascender is not going to go backwards. So every time you do that, you pull down, you uh, bring the ascender closer to your rappel device, and that slides up the rope really easy. And you repeat this until you are as high as you want. Then once you're at the top, I just set my platform. 
the distance below where I'm already tied off, where I think I'm going to want to stand. And then I just continue to ratchet myself above the platform, stand up on it, unhook the ascender, keep the repel device hooked up, and then I always back up with a little, um, like, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a little rope you tie around uh, your main line and then attach it to your bridge so if your repel device fails, you'll still get caught. Hook that up and then you're good to hunt. Now on the way down, this is essentially the same as the one stick. You hook your bow pull up rope behind the hitch, rappel down a little bit, unhook your platform, wrap that up nice, then rappel down the rest of the tree, pull your line out of the tree using the bow pull up rope, wrap everything up and head out. All right guys, we're gonna start off talking about the three stick method because we went over that one first. So some advantages. First of all, anyone can do it. I mean, it's the same as a hang on stand. So you're just putting up your three sticks you're putting your lineman belt on, climbing up. Instead of the hang on stand, you're putting the platform and then you're tethering off to the tree. So it's the exact same outside of the very top, but it's really easy to learn if you've hunted out of a hang on stand before. Secondly, is you can leave it overnight. So this will cut down on the noise and the time for the next night. If you find a good spot, you know the next day you're gonna be there, you're on private land, you can just leave your stand up, climb right up it, just tether off and it's really quick, really easy. That's one thing actually miss about the three stick method is being able to leave it overnight if I know I'm just coming back the next day. Now on to some disadvantages. First, it is our slowest method. It takes 9 minutes 56 seconds to get up, 6 minutes 53 seconds to get down for a total of 16.09. And really when you think about it, 16.09 for getting up and back down really isn't that bad. But obviously relative to our other two methods, it is the slowest so I'm going to put slow in the disadvantages. Second, it is loud. I mean, you're setting sticks, you're really wrenching down on them. I mean, everything about it's just kind of loud. You're either using straps or leaning back and, and throwing rope around. Everything about it's just kind of loud. So that's definitely a disadvantage. They're the heaviest of the three. It's still gonna be lighter than your hang on stand, but you are carrying three sticks plus a platform where obviously one stick, you've got one stick. And for the SRT, you've just got a rope you're carrying and a couple ascenders. So definitely the heaviest. The fourth disadvantage would be that you have limited height. You can only go as high as your three sticks go. You can always add a fourth stick, but that's going to add weight and it's going to slow you down. So realistically, I mean, you're at a limited height unless you're going to be carrying, you know, 10 sticks out there, which is just not going to happen. Uh, last, it can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, you can get your sticks secondhand, but for the most part, when you're buying four sticks instead of one, it is going to be expensive, especially when you compare it to the SRT where you're just buying a rope, a rappel device, and, and a sender. I mean, that's a lot cheaper than buying multiple sticks. I guess there's one more here. Maneuvering around branches can be a little tough. If you want to do it safely, you have to, you know, have a second lineman belt and throw it over the next branch, clip in, and unclip your um, lineman belt, your original one. Or if you don't want to carry two lineman belts, you can tether off, unclip your um, belt, and then throw it around the branch and reclip it. But either way, it's a lot of clipping and unclipping if you want to do it safely. Now onto one stick. Some of the advantages would be that it's fast. Six minutes, two seconds up the tree, four minutes and three seconds down for a total of 10 minutes and five seconds. That's actually really quick when you think about it. It averages out to five minutes up, five minutes down. I mean, that's super quick if you're going up and down. Obviously, that's without the platform. If you're going to add the platform, that adds about two minutes. So 12 minutes if you're doing it that way. But if you just hunt with the top of your stick being a platform, then you uh, obviously can get up in 10 minutes. And that's ultra fast. Uh, another advantage, you can get as high as your rope is long. So if you've got a 40 foot rappel rope, you can go 40 feet up because you'll still be able to get out of the tree. And that's a major advantage. I mean, a lot of those big bucks, if you're only 15 feet up, they're going to see you right away and, you know, bust you and you're not going to get your deer. So being able to go up high, definitely an advantage. Third is it's lightweight. I mean, compared to packing three sticks, you're just packing one stick and a rappel rope. Super easy to haul in, super lightweight. Uh, definitely a major advantage to the one stick. Now, some of the disadvantages, it's loud. I mean, you're setting your stick, unsetting 
when you swing off the tree and you reach down and you pull it to unset it and then reset it, it's probably more loud than the three stick method. So definitely a disadvantage for the one stick. Um, again, the maneuvering around branches with this one, especially if there's branches in the wind, you have to have a second tether with you and then you have to tether off and either continue climbing with that tether or switch back to your rappel line you were climbing with originally. And overall, just not super easy to do if you pick a, a tree with a lot of branches on it. Um, another one takes some athleticism. I mean, this one, I get done and I'm out of breath. The swinging off the side, bending down, grabbing it, hoisting yourself back up takes a, a little bit of athleticism, some flexibility to be able to bend down, and grab your stick. So definitely not for everyone. The last thing I want to talk about with the one stick is the price. Now, if you just grab like uh, one stick of from online it can be really cheap and then just um, you know kind of deck it out from there you could only spend $60 on it but uh, if you want to go to like Eastern Woods Outdoors um, they have a spot you can customize your um, one stick so you can put a little platform on big platform you can make it longer shorter but this is gonna range anywhere from 150 to like $250 I think I spent like 270 on mine and it was all said and done so it's <laughs> it can be pretty expensive if uh, you want to deck it out but I didn't know which category to put it in because obviously you can do it a lot cheaper if you want to last we got the half line or the SRT method so a couple of the advantages I think this one has the most advantages this is my first season using it so I'm not completely sure on it but um, I'll know more after this season so it's fast, uh, up is 8 minutes and 7 seconds, down 2 minutes 50 seconds. That's real quick if you're trying to get out of there. I mean, usually if you're going down, you're not in that big of a hurry. But if you need to get out of there quick, 2 minutes 50 seconds, I mean, that's incredible. Uh, for a total of 10 minutes 57 seconds, so about 11 minutes up and down, that's insanely fast. Uh, again, you can get as high as your rope is long, explained in the other one same concept uh, you're using the rappel line so as long as you have rope that reaches the ground you can still rappel out of the tree uh, the third one would be that this is by far the most lightweight method you don't have any metal coming with you you just have your two devices a couple of carabiners and your rappel line so i guess you have a, a couple ounce throw bag too so that's you know half a pound or something but either way it's still super lightweight and it's pretty cheap. I mean, if you buy some rope, that might cost you $40. Your two devices together might be $150, and uh, you're good to go up a tree. So, and I think uh, nowadays the Mad Rock Safeguard and other repel devices since COVID have come down a lot. So, uh, it is relatively cheap to get into the half line method. It's really quiet. I mean, ascending the tree, you could. Uh, hypothetically, I mean, if there's a deer 40 yards away, and if you've already got your little paracord loop set and you're not throwing your throw bag, you can get up in the tree real quick, real quiet, and that is super nice. And then lastly, you are, it's easy for you to maneuver around branches. I mean, it like, you're picking out a little V in the tree, you throw the ball through it, and then you're pulling yourself up. So you never have to untie, retie, you just go right around all those branches. Um, then we get into some disadvantages. So it takes some climbing knowledge. You gotta know what you're doing before you do it if you wanna do it safely. I mean, you gotta be able to hook your ascender up, hook your repel device, you're gonna have to be able to repel out of a tree. Um, you're gonna have to do some research if you wanna be able to do it. I didn't have a ton of knowledge. I just watched like, I don't know, five or six videos on it and that was enough to figure it out and be able to climb a tree. So it's not that bad. Um, the biggest disadvantage, you need a spot for your throw ball. I mean, if you're looking at a tree that is straight up and down, no branches, nothing to throw it over, you're not gonna be able to get in that tree. And that's the bottom line, definitely the biggest disadvantage for um, the half line. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.